Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the second of our men's quarterfinals here at the Toto Dutch Open of 2023. And we welcome to the stage, first of all, the reigning Bruges Open champion, the reigning and three-time Czech Open champion from Belgium, the beast from the east, Andy Batten! His opponent is the former British Classic Champion, the reigning Swedish Masters Champion from the Netherlands, Denny Alde Kauter! Welcome back to Dutch Open 2023 finals evening, the Toto Dutch Open 2023 finals evening. Quarter final number two. And we are Belgium against the Netherlands, a local derby in the darting world. This man is the beast, Andy Bartens from Belgium. And he's playing Daniel de Kulter, the man from the Netherlands. For the right to play Jelle Klassen in the semi-final after his victory just now. Five, ten minutes ago, he beat Wesley Plazier by five legs to two. The Dutch referee and Marco Meyer as well. First line, it's only through first. Marco wishes both players the best of luck and it's Andy that's going to get us underway. He won the bullseye backstage to determine who throws first in the first leg. 81. Not the biggest worry in the world for Denny Alder Coulter when he's throwing first in the first leg, Andy, but should it get to that ninth and crucial leg, then it becomes a bit of an advantage. So. And dare I say, if you if you if you do hold throw and it goes one nil, one all, two one two all, you're always in front rather than chasing. So I think most players prefer that, but Tony won't be thinking about that at this stage. Two players, I think, who are both 16. shall we say very firm in the way that they throw their darts at the ball, then they're not gonna come out for easily. If they bounce off a wire, God forbid, they're gonna bounce a long way. The way these guys throw their darts is quite uh, Quite firm. You can see there, Denny really leaning forward and putting a lot of power into that release. Barton is the number six in the WDF World Rankings at this moment in time. He's announced onto the stage by Anthony Dundas, our MC. He's the current Czech Open champion. He's also the current Bruges Open champion as well. Two silver ranked tournaments within the WDF system. A safe third dart actually went in the double top. No harm done. Double 10 left. Denny back on 204. So 
Barton should get, or certainly will get three darts here. Double 10 for the first leg, and that will make him feel great. Get that first leg under your belt. A nice straight double 10 kill, and it's Andy Barton's that takes the first leg. Yeah. Andy won the Bruges Open back in October 2022 and then followed that up with the Czech Open in November 2022, which elevated him to number six in the world rankings. And he also was a quarter finalist in the World Championships in April 2022. And numerous other quarter final and semi final finishes, runner up in the Helvetia Open. Antwerp and Belgium semi-finalist and Belfry. So Antwerp, Belgium and Belfry, all of his home tournaments, he got to the semi-final and then went that one step further with the Bruges Open. So good CV for Andy Bartons. And then to Denny's, number 30 in the current world rankings. His one title from 2022 was the Swedish Masters which he won back in August 2022. There's a runner-up, funny enough, in the Belfry Open. So... In October. Double 16 then for Denny for 1-1. One, one. Okay, two double eights in, showing off. Yeah, Unfortunately, it still only counts as one leg, Denny, but uh, you take the 48. And it's 1-1. One, one. No dramas so far. Denny also represented, well, both of the players. Denny represented Holland and Andy represented Belgium in the Europe Cup last year. So both are used to these sorts of environments, maybe not quite as many people in a crowd as you can see there. And if you can see where I can see, you can see Jackie's got his hat back on and he's cheering Andy Barton's on the Jerry Gothals. Andy had the darts in this leg, so he'll be looking to take that 2-1 lead just looking at their paths through this may make a difference though it certainly does our first 180 of the match goes to the day at the uh, Dutchman and that's put a little bit of a different complex on this leg especially with Andy not hitting the treble now Denny suddenly becomes favorite although he'll want to get under the hundred here and he's going to should come down now for treble 17. Oh, super darts, 180, 131 to leave 32. Super stuff. Double 16 then. Now double four. Yes, good steal of the throw. Very good steal of the throw. And a break of throw for Denny Elder Coulter. He now has the darts. He's going for the, um, Andy Barton's route from the last 1 to 8 down to this quarterfinal game. He beat uh, Stefano Van Ziel 4 0 in the last 1 to 8 before a tight match against Michael Mikel Van Roon. Who he beat 4 3 in the last 64. Relatively comfortable victory with a 94 average, as it happens, against Tony Vinhoff, 4 1. And in the last 16, saw off Moreno Michels with an 87 average and a 4 2 victory. So that's a. Uh, that's his uh, pathway. Denny, on the other hand, in the last 1 to 8, had a comfortable 4 0 victory in the last 128 against Raymond van der Ende. Last 64, so saw off Mario Robb 4 2 with a 91 average. Last 32, 4 3 against Martin Jongan. 
again from the Netherlands, and then a very, very impressive victory. And talking of impressive, the second 180 for Daniel de Colta. You know, the last 16 he saw off Chris Lamman, who was with people dropping around. Chris Lamman was the man in form and looked as though he was going to go a long way in the tournament. But uh, then he saw him off 4 0 and averaged 100. And 3 5, pull 45, so 65 leaves 70. Great darts from Denny to leave double eight. 146 is on though. Double 13. Oh, for Bartons would have broken back on the throw. There's Jerry. And 3 1 it is. And a chance for Denny to take the lead in this four, uh, fifth leg as well. Sixteen. Didn't take advantage. One hundred. The beast needs to be a bit beastly in this fifth leg, you'd suggest, and doesn't want to drop his throw again. What he has to tell himself at this moment in time is that although he's only two legs behind, if he holds his throw here and breaks back, A, it's three all, and secondly, he then has the throw. So, nothing to panic about. He's been in this position many times, I would suggest, Andy Barton. So, as I say, not a panic. But Older Colt is the man who's hit 180 in each of the last two legs. And that's, they are the scores that have enabled him to come out victorious in those two legs as well. Barton's looking, definitely looking the favourite for this leg. 84 is then. Triple 20 for double 12. Double 12 then for 3 2. Difficult chance for Denny, but not out of his range by any means. Two triple 20s and double 8. Not going to do it now though. And 96 just knocks on the door and says, Andy, I'm sitting there. I'm waiting for you to miss the double 12. And he doesn't miss the double 12. He hits the double 12. It's now 3-2. And this will be where Andy will be thinking to himself, OK, if I can steal this leg, we're back on throw. But that if is a very big if. I can't hear Jackie in the background, but I'm sure he'll be there somewhere. 57. Jackie Gothel, the Belgian super fan with the hat, he's there in the He's there in the crowd cheering his man on. Great 140 from Denny. Denny's thinking here, I, I need to be positive. Keep going for those trebles. If I hold my throw, I win the match. As simple as that. Can't afford, however, 178. His opponent's only 26 points behind, and he's not going to do any. A single 18 here leaves tops. Can Andy put the pressure on? I think he's got to stay there, really. And he's unlucky. I think that was what he was worried about. He, that's why he stopped. Tops then for Denny for a 4-2 lead. Now tens. Oh, and now fives. And Bartons is cursing that one last row. But treble 19. Yes, 16 or treble 16. 66 he wants. 
Oh, and he's missed the big 16 for throughout the ball, and you can see how annoyed he is with that. And at the same time, Denny Older Coulter turned away to get a sip of his glass of water as if to say, well, I've had a chance there. One for double two for a 4-2 lead. <sighs> Bent the wire. Awkward. Yes, was awkward. And it looks like that eight miss is not going to be a penalty for Andy Bartons. My word. It is, though. Rye smile. Well thrown darts, I'd suggest. Just didn't find their target. Madhouse. No score. Andy Bartons, 20. The whole game could literally swing on this leg. It's 4 2 or it's 3 3. And it's 3 3. And as we said, from 3 1 down, Andy Bartons has come back to 3 all and now has the darts to lead 4 3. And Denny Older Colt has got to do it all again. He broke the Bartons throw and he now has to do it again at some point in this game or he will be going home. In effect, it's a best of three. Sixteen. Partons is the man more than capable of reeling off a number of legs on the spin with ultra high scoring. One eighties for funny hasn't hit one in this game, which is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> What's coming here? Oh, let me down, Andy. There's Aileen de Graaf. Aileen will be in our ladies' final a little later. When I say a little later, we've got the, the, the other two men's semi-finals to play before we move on to, uh, sorry, the men's quarterfinals, then the men's semi-finals before we get to our final. So a bit of a way to go before Aileen will be gracing the stage. She'll be playing at Beau Greaves. But in the meantime, Andy Bartons is looking at double 12. Andy's got another, he'll be back as well. He doesn't need to come back. And from 3 1 down, three straight legs has given Andy Bartons a 4 3 lead. For Denny, it's very clear what he has to do now. He has to win the remaining two legs. And there's our first Barton's 180, and what good timing. Not that there's ever bad time to hit a 180, of course there is, but... Following this game, Aaron Turner and Arjen Konterman, the English take on the Dutch, before an all-Dutch final quarter-final of Berry van Peer and Joey Tenberg. Joey making a welcome return to the stage, the darting stage. 41. But wow, and there's a clever man. Bit of a lurch there with Andy with that last time, trying to force it through almost to find the treble 20. Didn't do so. Denny knows if he can keep his form here. He's going to be down to 120 or possibly 80. He's down to 120. <laughs> Equally, Andy's thinking now, right, ton or more here. And I'll really put the pressure on that 120 finish. Can he hit the treble? 18 is a great dart to leave. 44, 120, pressure really on here. And now he can't finish. 17 for tops. And all he can do now is pray that Andy Bartons doesn't take out this 44. Double 16. He has. He has. And it is Andy Bartons, the Belgian, that goes through to the semi-final where he will play Jelle Klassen. He was 3-1 down, didn't panic, reeled off four straight legs. And then, <laughs> there's Jackie supporting his man. Andy Bartons is through to the semi-final.